these fools told me to rap for my book. Uh huh. So I tap, tap, tap for my book. Uh -huh. Come on, Brandy. Come on, Brandy. Red lips for my book. <laughs> Titties and hips for my book. Uh -huh. Yes. I hit a high note for my book. Yeah. Now you walk for my book. Uh huh. Rubber bum bum for my book. You bitches better run for my book. Hey! It's all about arts and theaters tonight at the 27th annual Theater Awards. We're honoring Jennifer Lewis, Anika Rose, and Brandon Dixon. I'm Jay Styles, and watch all the interviews here on EUR Will. What you say you are a superstar? Then have no fear. The camera's here. So talk about being here tonight. What's the level of, of importance uh, was it for you to not only support your peers and be nominated, but to also su support a great platform? Man, I. I one, I just feel so great because the NAACP, they acknowledge black excellence. And um, to be a black woman at this time is not only hot, but to be black alone is not only hot, but to be acknowledged when that is not even the goal, but to have someone sit in the audience and say, you know what, I love her work and I want to honor her excellence. I feel amazing. What God has given us all is special. So when you really just focus on yourself and just pay attention to what God has given you, um, you'll be great at it and you'll work hard and what's for you will be for you. The theater and arts education is so uh, vital for developing fundamental skills. How has art and theaters developed your or strengthen your fundamental skills? Oh my God, um, theater literally like I say it saved my life or it changed my life like it gave me an outlet and an opportunity to storytell which I feel like is a pillar of the African-American community to be able to storytell and um, um, pass along tradition and pass along stories to you know the youth and so I'm a product of that. I was I got in trouble as a kid and you know there was a I, uh, me too you know and it was a it was a youth group and it was a drama teacher that set me on my way to tell me you know don't get just get mad about what you feel write another story tell another create another reality and I thought if I can someone can give me that I can give that to other people so here I am. Why was it so important for you to not only support your peers today but also to support a great platform? Well first of all I love black people. Black people are my favorite people in the whole wide world. I stayed in a room full of white people. I love black people. So anything that NAACP is doing, I like to be part of. They're allowing me to actually present tonight. I also presented earlier at the Technical Awards, but I love theater. Theater is my life. Black theater is my greatest part of my performance life. So just being here, being part of this is a great honor. Man. We owe it to these artists who aren't getting produced to take their work and, and to allow it to be seen. Um, you know, so I, I don't, I'm not big on movie to, 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 to stage, although sometimes it's magnificent and it really, really does work. So it, I just think that there's a lot of work that we never see and we never produce and we should spend a little more time finding some original things, figuring out what we're missing and putting those things in the light. And a lot of sitcoms in the 90s are coming back and rebooting. Yeah. Did you ever, do you ever see a Steve Harvey reboot coming Ooh, in the near future? Ask Steve, honey, yes. yes. That'd be cute. How That'd be you, real cute. Okay, Steve, how about that reboot? And I ain't talking about no shoes, I ain't talking about no pumps. I'm talking about that reboot, <laughs> that part, yeah. Theater, we started off in theater and education in 1988 in New York. Uh, we broke people like uh, Alan B. Ballard, uh, Lisa Nicole Carson, uh, Malik Yoba. A lot of people came to my uh, uh, repertory. Yeah. Uh, right there is still doing well, City Kids Repertory Theater. So I started off in theater and education. And that's how I got my start. So. Why did you decide to support this platform? Well, because it's important for us to see positive images. In fact, let me take that back and say, it's important for us to see us engaged in theater, in positive images, negative images. It's just important that we are seen and heard. For years I've wanted them to do mahogany so that I can go, do you know where you're going to? <laughs> How does it feel just to be here among so, so many creative to people? Be able to uh, celebrate all of our, our famous black actresses, the people that are up, up and coming. I'm just happy to be here. I'm always happy when it comes to theater. 25% of my life is now show business. The other 75 is the resistance.
I want to say to 45, just in case this gets on the internet. You're not grabbing anybody by the pussy in the morgue. You're not by, here it is. You're not grabbing anyone by the pussy anymore. You're not grabbing us by anything anymore. Women are rising up. Dr. Angelou said, and still I rise, and we will rise. Right on. I got a down ass mama.